What's up guys, it's SCG here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to turn off auto renew and how to cancel your PlayStation Plus subscription. Now there are two different ways, two main ways we can cancel our subscriptions for our PlayStation console. The first is to actually just go to the PlayStation console and cancel it right on here. The second method is to go to the PlayStation website and cancel it remotely in the user settings. So I'll be showing both methods in today's video. So let's get started with the console method first. So I am right now on the login screen of my PlayStation 5. So first, obviously, we have to log in with the user that is subscribed to PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now. So with PlayStation Plus, it's really easy. You just look at the icon next to the username. So that little plus right there indicates that I am subscribed to PlayStation Plus. These accounts do not. So I'm just going to log in with that user. And then from the home screen, I'm going to go up to the settings menu, down to users and accounts. And in account, I'm going to go down to payment and subscriptions. And then I'm going to go down all the way to the second to last option, subscriptions. And in here, it's going to list all of the different services we are subscribed to. So I'm just subscribed to PlayStation Plus, and I was subscribed to PlayStation Now, so these are the only two that appear. But EA Play is also another subscription that appears currently in the subscription settings here. So select the service you want to cancel. And then in here, it's going to give you two options. If you are currently subscribed, it's going to have either extend or turn off auto renew. So turning off auto renew is basically the same as canceling. So just select that option. It is going to try to convince you to not cancel PlayStation Plus because Sony really wants your money. So it is, it's going to try to entice you with all of this stuff here. Uh, turn off. It's going to want us to give an answer for why we're turning it off. I don't want to, you to take my money. That's going to be my answer. And then OK. And it's just going to tell us when our subscription officially ends and that auto renew has been turned off. So now basically PlayStation Plus is canceled. It's not going to renew automatically when the payment date comes around. I can also extend PlayStation Plus here so I can add on more months to the end of my term. So we have that option right here. And then with a service like this, I'm not actually subscribed, so it's not going to have the cancel option. So that's a good way to know if you are actually subscribed. So even though it appears here, I'm not actually subscribed because this would have the turn off auto renew if I was actually paying for PlayStation now, but right now it's just subscribe. So that about does it for how to cancel it on console. We can also do it through the PlayStation store and that process is pretty much the same. We start from the store and then you go up to the more option and then down to subscriptions and it takes you to the exact same screen as I showed earlier. And yeah, that's, those are basically the two main ways to cancel it here on your console. Now over on the PlayStation website, it is a very similar process. So just search PlayStation on your phone or computer. I'm showing it on both for this video. So just head into the PlayStation website. Once it loads in, make sure you are logged in with the user account that is subscribed to PlayStation Plus. Just like on the console, it has that PlayStation Plus icon next to our username. So from here, we can go down to subscription management. It might also ask us to sign in again just to confirm that it is us. It's going to list all of the subscriptions we are currently paying for. So right here, it just shows PlayStation Plus for 12 months. And it just has that auto renew option right there. So either tap or click onto that. And it'll ask if you are sure you want to do this. Just press confirm and it'll turn off auto renew. The one nice thing about the website is it does not try to convince you to stay with PlayStation Plus. It's like, okay, you can cancel it. That's fine. The console really wants you to uh, jump through a few hoops to actually cancel it. So uh, that is how you cancel PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, and EA Play on your PS5 console. The process is very similar for the PlayStation 4. If you still have that, of course, you can cancel it on the website for both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. But uh, yeah, that does it. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any issues with it at all, leave those in the comments down below. And if you enjoy what you watched, be sure to subscribe and let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.